Blessed are those who mourn, for it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Then why is she in the box? Who was our father when she got sick? We have to have faith. I have no faith. Joe, it's God. I've chosen you for a special mission. <laughs> Very funny. Whoever hacked my computer, uh, no need to confess. Please just unhack it. Yeah. <laughs> the Almighty chose you. Well, let's see, I can give you a little bit of uh, the tiny bit of the storyline, which is uh, Joe Amabliamo. I'm married to Joe Amabliamo. Uh, my character's name is Sheila. And something happens within their family that is tragic. And uh, it's about his, you know, shattering of our faith and trying to work through that and what we, what we tap inside of ourselves. And why I decided to do it? Because Edward James almost asked me. You know, it's like Muhammad Ali asking you to fight. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, uh, but kidding aside, he, um, he just is an actor with so much gravity that is so in the present moment when you're working with him that I, I just feel like I can, I can swing. I can do whatever I <clears throat> want to try, and he's going to be right there. Um, and also, Mark Medoff, who wrote it, I had worked with on Clara's Heart with Whoopi Goldberg, and and I wanted to honor his work, his last work. I, I tell you, the, the young filmmakers and actors really have such a challenge now. The great thing that's, the good thing I wouldn't say that's come out of COVID and us all isolating is that a lot of young people have created their own work and put it on the internet and got their friends together and somebody's got a camera. And, and I think that's the most important thing to do, to just keep creating and, and initiate it yourself. Don't wait for somebody to pick you because there's too many millions of people. Uh, and, it, and it has to provide a life for you. If it doesn't provide a life for you, try something else. We're all capable of doing more than one thing. Good friends, good friends, uh, you know, I'll say it, a lot of praying, a lot of uh, going, uncle, uncle, what do I do? I don't know. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a rough time for all of us right now. And I, I, I don't know how people get through, like Mark Medoff was an atheist who wrote the movie. And uh, I don't know, I, I think one of the things is to you know, go on day by day and, and to keep practicing kindness because the other thing doesn't get you through anything. So somebody said, give me, give, what's, your, what's, a, what's your favorite quote? What's your quote that you wanna tell me? Sooner or later, life will kick your It will. And you know, uh, and then hopefully we get stronger for it and learn to be sorry for the noise, learn to be a little, uh, a little more humble and uh, a little stronger, maybe. And he's got that very serious side and he's, I find him to be I got to know him in a different way, so I was really fortunate, but he's got a very sensitive side and um, he's very 
passionate ab about, you know, humanity and how this world is going. And he rescues dogs. And I just think he's adorable. So, um, so it was a beautiful thing to watch him discover himself as an actor, as, as a more serious actor, because he handles some really difficult material in this movie. The best was that I got to be um, part of the team, of the fan team of watching the Dodgers. Um, I'll, I'll never see the Dodger games the same because we all gathered to watch the Dodger games at the end of the day if we got done soon enough. And it was just more fun. And, you know, we, we would, I would have, everybody over and cook food for them. Um, and that was really fun. And uh, going out and taking some uh, golf lessons with them, that was really fun. And I, I have so many good memories. We were down in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So I'll, I, I'll still go back there. I had such a good time. my best dishes well of course during covid i i turned to baking because i'm not um a natural cook it kind of stresses me out but i i i prefer homemade food to restaurant food any day so uh, i made a lot of cookies you know i made a lot of cookies i'm gonna have to get rid of them somehow when i work again but um, I like to, I'm a good uh, steak, I'm a good barbecuer. I can barbecue. And Eddie's vegan, so, you know, he had to have different food. But George and I, we wanted, we wanted to have some meat now and then. Hope that you leave with a lighter heart and a little joy in your heart. Um, and why? Because it's, it's been such a dark time for all of us, um, some more than others. And I don't want to go to the movies right now and get hammered over the head. I want somebody to lift me up. And if you go to, I know this is walkingwithherbthemovie.com. You can learn more about it. I think it's coming out April the 30th nationwide. And, and it's just a joy to watch this relationship between Edward James Almost's character and George Lopez's character. You don't want to miss that.